George Brent, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the silver screen with his compelling performances. For many, the first recognition of this seasoned actor might be traced back to a specific film or character that captivated their attention. Alternatively, some may recall a singular moment from Brent's body of work that left a lasting impact, prompting reflection on the enduring power of cinema. As we delve into the realm of classic Hollywood, one cannot help but ponder personal connections to George Brent's work. Perhaps there is a cherished memory or a profound experience associated with one of his films that resonates with you. We invite you to share your stories and recollections in the comments below, offering a glimpse into the diverse ways in which George Brent has woven himself into the fabric of cinematic history. What was the first time George Brent caught your attention, or is there a particular moment from one of his works that has stayed with you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. George Brent, the seasoned actor, faced an unexpected twist in his career during the filming of Death of a Scoundrel in 1956. Scheduled to star in the lead role, Brent fell ill after a labor-intensive party scene with numerous extras had already been shot. To avoid the cost of reshooting, the producers opted to keep the scene complete with Brent in the final cut, and George Sanders took over the lead. Interestingly, when Brent joined Warner Brothers, his hair had turned entirely gray. In order to maintain the desired appearance, he resorted to dyeing his hair black. This effort to preserve a youthful image underscored the industry's emphasis on appearances, even for established actors like Brent. A less known chapter in Brent's life involves his early involvement with the Irish rebel Michael Collins of Sioux, where he served on the assassin squad under the alias George Nolan. Remarkably, this occurred when Brent was likely no more than 16 years old, adding a layer of intrigue to his youth. George Brent's career reveals a blend of unexpected challenges and the lengths to which actors go to meet industry standards. From unanticipated illnesses shaping film narratives to the cosmetic efforts required to maintain a certain look, Brent's journey in the entertainment world reflects both the glamour and the practical challenges faced by actors in the mid-20th century. Amidst the glitz and challenges of George Brent's Hollywood journey, lesser-known facets of his life paint a nuanced picture of the seasoned actor. An unexpected twist unfolded during the filming of Death of a Scoundrel in 1956, when, due to illness, Brent relinquished the lead role to George Sanders. This incident, revealing the industry's pragmatic approach, stands as a testament to the lengths filmmakers go to avoid costly reshoots. However, beyond the camera's lens, Brent's personal life carried its share of turbulence. Notably, a Rochester newspaper reported a dramatic episode involving Brent, his wife Anne Sheridan, and Errol Flynn. Allegedly, Flynn found himself on the wrong side of a confrontation with Brent after an unexpected discovery at home. While the glitz of Hollywood often eclipses personal affairs, Brent's life wasn't just about film sets and premieres. He held a pilot's license, showcasing a lesser-known skill that added another layer to his versatile persona. In The Great Lie, audiences witnessed Brent's aviation prowess as he expertly landed an airplane, a testament to his multifaceted talents. Equally intriguing was Brent's tumultuous two-year affair with Betty Davis, his frequent co-star in 11 feature films. From so big to In This Our Life, their on-screen chemistry mirrored the intensity of their off-screen liaison, offering a glimpse into the complex dynamics of Hollywood relationships. In exploring the depths of George Brent's life, it becomes evident that the man behind the roles was as compelling as the characters he portrayed on screen. From unexpected career turns to personal tumult and hidden talents, Brent's journey encapsulates the multifaceted nature of a Hollywood career. Amidst the glitz and challenges of George Brent's Hollywood journey, lesser-known facets of his life paint a nuanced picture of the seasoned actor. Beyond the cameras, Brent's personal life carried its share of turbulence. Notably, a Rochester newspaper reported a dramatic episode involving Brent, his fifth wife Janet, and a tumultuous affair with Betty Davis his frequent co-star in 11 feature films. Their on-screen chemistry mirrored the intensity of their off-screen liaison, offering a glimpse into the complex dynamics of Hollywood relationships. Interestingly, despite a reliable tenure at Warner Bros., Brent faced a twist when tested for the title role in Captain Blood. However, he was better known as a ladies' man in tearjerkers than a swashbuckler, leading to the part going to newcomer Errol Flynn and making him an instant star. Furthermore, Brent's life took unexpected turns early on. In the early 1920s, as a teenager, he served as a messenger assassin for the Irish Republican Army during its struggle against the British. 
Eluding capture, he was smuggled out of Ireland to Canada by freighter and then crossed the border to the U.S. Adding another layer to his versatile persona, Brent held a pilot's license, showcasing a lesser-known skill in the great lie. From unexpected career turns to personal tumult and hidden talents, Brent's journey encapsulates the multifaceted nature of a Hollywood career. The Anglo-Irish war shaped George Brent's early years, born to a British officer and an era guerrilla. Orphaned at 11, he briefly migrated to America in 1915 before returning to Ireland, kickstarting his career on the Abbey Theatre stage. Amidst Hollywood's glamour, Brent's life unfolded with unexpected twists. His complex dynamics with Betty Davis, a frequent co-star, extended beyond the screen, revealing a tumultuous affair that lasted for two years. Despite his reliable tenure at Warner Bros., Brent faced a career twist when Errol Flynn secured the lead role in Captain Blood, making him an overnight sensation. Transitioning into later life, Brent's last encounter with Betty Davis in 1978 showcased the impact of time on their once intense relationship. His unannounced visit to Davis, now aged and unrecognizable, marked a poignant moment in their shared history. Beyond the limelight, Brent's diverse talents emerged a messenger assassin for the era in the 1920s, a holder of a pilot's license showcased in The Great Lie. His cinematic contributions were honored on August 13, 2018, during the TCM Summer Under the Stars. The multifaceted journey of George Brent, from early turmoil to Hollywood romance and evolving talents, paints a nuanced portrait of an actor whose life rivaled the complexity of his on-screen characters. George Brent's on-screen journey takes an intriguing turn in the film Luxury Liner, where he portrayed Jane Powell's father. Powell later revealed an unexpected revelation she and Brent harbored a mutual crush during the filming. The twist in this tale unfolds near the end of Brent's life, when in his 70s, he proposed marriage to Powell. This unanticipated romantic twist adds a layer of complexity to Brent's personal life, showcasing a side less known to the public. Powell's revelation sheds light on the depth of relationships formed in the Hollywood spotlight, transcending the boundaries of on-screen roles. From unexpected crushes to late-in-life proposals, George Brent's journey in the film industry isn't just about his on-screen performances. It's a narrative that intertwines with personal connections, revealing the human side of a seasoned actor. As we delve into the intricacies of Brent's life, we uncover the nuances that make his story both compelling and relatable. As we bid adieu, it's time to reflect on the tapestry of George Brent's illustrious career and the indelible mark left upon the canvas of entertainment. From the silver screen to the hearts of audiences, George Brent's performances beckon us to delve into our personal reservoirs of memories and emotions. Perhaps it's the arresting allure of a particular character portrayal or the timeless elegance that resonates with you. Share your thoughts, reminisce on the moments that etch themselves into your cinematic journey and let us weave a collective tapestry of admiration for this luminary. The beauty of art lies in its ability to forge connections, transcending time and space. Take a moment to embrace the essence of George Brent's craft and consider how it intertwined with your own narrative. Your reflections, anecdotes, and musings are the threads that enrich the fabric of appreciation for this remarkable talent. In this realm of cinematic wonder, George Brent's legacy endures casting a profound influence on the realms of storytelling and performance. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to those who have journeyed alongside us, sharing in the celebration of George Brent's contributions to the tapestry of entertainment. Thank you for your time, for kindling the flames of nostalgia, and for honoring the artistry that defined an era. Your participation enriches the narrative, adding depth to the homage paid to a cinematic luminary.